Nothing. You Guys, I want to help you out. I want to reach out to you. And if you don't like that, you can suck. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin the Skull Anderson. And I'd like to reach out to some artists today. First of all, we have a woman from Germany named Anne Katrin Schuster. She is a 3D digital artist who has been practicing her craft for nearly seven years now professionally as of her deviant art information. Now, I have some very important stuff to show to you from her gallery, which I believe stands out the most in my mind. Keep in mind, you can feel free to take this with a pinch of salt whenever you can't, but still, it's definitely worth your time to check out the art, because the art is really that good. It's pretty damn impressive if you ask me. Now, let's get to it, shall we? Let's get to the madness. Alright, first of all, first of all, her very first 3D image, if I recall, or is that really, I don't know if it's a 3D image or a photograph, but I'll just shoot for one of the two, because I don't know if I'm right or wrong, so if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, if I'm right, I'm right. But this is a deviation that she submitted in the infancy of a DeviantArt membership sometime in 2012. In my opinion, this is one of the most clear-cut, refined submissions that I have had the pleasure of seeing in quite some time. Not only is her artwork here in this particular deviation very reminiscent of nature and of those harmonizing MGM cartoon shorts from the 30s, but it also reminds me of a similar time, when things were much easier to do and people were a lot less easily offended back then. Of course, I didn't grow up in that time as I had not been born yet, so this was more like my mother's time, my grandmother's time, my great-grandmother's time, and so on and so forth. But you understand now what this is all about. No don't you? Anyhow, moving on now to her next submission. Another one which I will feature here right now. The one in particular is called Small River, and it's also, ironically enough, to be, quite frankly, one of her best works to date. Also notice, also, if you will, take a look at the difference between the picture I showed you just a minute ago and this one. This is five years worth of progress right here. And it also shows how much of a remarkable improvement my friend on here has maintained just in those five years alone. And that says a lot, doesn't it? Also keep in mind the fact that this rich background, complete with waterscape, complete with tree brushery, this is all very concrete, very, very astounding, if you don't mind me saying that. And it not only shows how far she's come as a digital artist between this deviation that she submitted in 2012 and the one which I'm featuring to you all, which she submitted last year, but it also shows that she definitely has a knock 3D digital artwork, which also shows that she has a very, very fancy taste in nature, and I very much respect and admire that a lot. Quite 
more than I'm willing to let on, to be honest. And I'm not even lying when I say that. And what's also very intriguing about something of this caliber is the fact that something like this doesn't come very often in our world. An artist like her comes maybe once in a decade, maybe once in a generation. The reason why I say that is because she is one of the overlooked artists, one of the underrated artists who I know for sure need more recognition, more notoriety. Artists like her are not neglected every single day. They are neglected because they're not what most so-called professionals or so-called critics would deem as being, quote, POPULAR! to see the beauty in such deviations, one would have to look no further than pictures such as this one and the previous one I featured, as well as another one which I will feature right now, which is also one of the latest works, titled House with Waterfall. This one in particular, in my honest opinion, having been made between 2012 and 2017, having been submitted in 2015, two years before the one that I featured to you previously, shows that this is undisputedly, undoubtedly on Katrine Schuster at her best. Perfecting her craft is only she can. You know, I might even say that Anne Katrin Schuster's three-dimensional artwork and architecture and landscapes and scenery, particularly in the three-dimensional shots that she renders, are very reminiscent of the work of Krothbeck. You know that German electronica band, one of the first of their kind, and also a band that's been around for close to some 50 years now, but their work is timeless. And though they released their latest album some 15 years ago and have been touring extensively ever since, their work, once listened to in person, very much exemplifies what art should be. Freedom of expression, which is exactly what you all see here, just as I am sharing to you now. And I don't know if you're watching this or not, but let me just say now that your three-dimensional artwork is very, very refined, very excellent and it deserves to be featured here because you deserve to be featured here because your all is absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful and with that said i'd like to feature now someone from twitter specifically and i'm going to show you this particular artist now and it's, it's an artist who i've come to respect a lot, and also one that shares my political views, albeit in a more cynical light as myself. Let's go to Copper Dogdom's Twitter feed now, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my friend from Twitter, Carpe Dogdom. He's just like me. He's a 100% Trump supporter, and here's one of his videos. As promised, he presents to you the man from Iran himself, 
Peter Straw. Let's check that shit out, huh? Yeah. Joker Ball. I can't help but wonder when I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye and lie to her about uh, this? Mr. Chairman, it's I don't even know 
don't know what the fuck this is anymore. I need to see stores and get photographer of many talents and let me tell you this guy he knows a good photograph when he sees it so when he sees something good he just takes a picture of it click done I'll give you a few examples of this let's let's I'll give you a few examples of this here's the first one now this I believe is one of his featured submissions I believe it is a swan. 
Now let me tell you something. This swan looks absolutely glorious. I will give in. I will give in till I'm victorious. You understand, right? You get the general idea. I mean, this, this photo, especially the water, the backdrop of the water, and the surrounding grass on the, on the left edge of the picture of Bobby. I mean, you cannot ask for more than that. You can't ask for much more than that. It's You can't. There's no way. There's no way. All right, next one. Now look at this one. Look at this one now. This is a picture, I believe, of a half moon. Maybe it's three quarters, maybe it's two thirds. I don't know, I'm just gonna say half just, just because I'm speculating here. Cause I don't know for sure. Nobody does. Anyway, this is a very, very interesting photograph of the moon in all its glory and it's many craters too you can see quite a few of them just in this picture alone perhaps if the picture itself was more technical you could actually zoom in a bit with your phone if you wanted to take a picture of the of the moon you could literally see the many craters of the moon in all of its layers. But this one in particular, this one is very, very well done. This photograph is very well timed, very well taken, very well shot. And I know a guy whose last name was Shotwell that used to work in the day program that I used to go to, but that's, that's, that's for another story. The point is, this picture is spot on. It's very spot on. I like the way this looks. I especially like the way the moon looks and the surrounding skyscape. Next one. Now apparently this is our guy, our friend here, Loaded Raccoon, making what appears to be a dirt face. <laughs> you know, personally, I think this is pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that! Look at that face! Look at the face, man! Look at the face! Oh, man, this is just brilliant. Man, this is just... When you drink an entire pack of Capri Sun in one suck. Still, personally, I think this is just pretty... This is pretty good on, and I like it. Very nice photograph too, and an interesting selfie, I should say. Very, very interesting selfie. Who would make this selfie? You may have to Google that. Yeah, you know, I really do. You have to. Not that I have a choice or anything to hell with it, right? Because it's not going to make a buck in the long run. Nothing, beef. But still, that's the thing. All right, last one. Now this is. If I recall, one of the very first photographs that he submitted to his fur affinity page. And let me tell you, this one, for a first photograph submission, this is just fucking phenomenal. This is just so fucking phenomenal, man. It's phenomenal, man. It's remarkable. It's also astronomically beautiful too. You can literally see the skyscape and the trailer that accompanies it on the bottom right side next to the corner. And the birds too, I think. I think those are birds, or maybe that's just dust on his window, but we'll just uh, we'll just consider that to be a unique element of the picture that would otherwise serve as a very, very detailed description of nature in all its beauty. Not that anybody needs to tell you that, but I just need to point that out just for the sake of pointing that out. 
bottom line, this is brilliance personified, especially considering this was one of his very first photograph submissions, and also a submission that really doesn't need an explanation because it's explanatory in of itself. And with that said, I'd like to thank you once again for tuning in to yet another episode of this homage to talent that is reaching out to the unfamous, which has been brought to you by Jesus Christ, because nearly 2,000 years ago, he sacrificed his body on a cross upon God's behest. God gave up his only begotten son, you know, John 3.16, right? But Jesus Christ saved us with his blood. And how do we repay him? By allowing history to repeat itself, knowing good and well that we can just as easily rewrite it because God gave us the right to, the permission. You know? It's also been sponsored by the Corporation of Broadcasting. Not that it means anything, but it totally needs mentioning because it's funded by suckers like you. Now get out, have a fresh, fresh, fresh air, and have a fucking nice day. Bye, bye.